No Italian, Father. No Italian. There is a great market for fresh fruit, you know. <clears throat> one for the masters <laughs> and one for the day. <clears throat> and one for the little boy. <laughs> oh, Maud, this is fantastic. This is the largest, loveliest dish of apple pie and custard I've ever seen. Thank you very much, Maud. Don't mention it, Father. This is really fantastic. This is fabulous. <laughs> Church in Ireland, the propagation of bingo. Oh, may God forgive you. Where's the canon? Bed. At this hour of the day, is he sick or what? He's fine, I'm up. Thanks, Bishop God. He's resting for the celebration. I don't see your name here. Where? In the new list of diocesan appointments. Oh, how would my name be there when old fogies of 80 or 90 haven't the grace to retire? You think they'd step down and give us younger men a chance? A chance of what? A chance to prove ourselves, to bring decaying parishes up to date, to get on with it. A lot you did with this decaying parish before I came. And a lot you do with it now if you're let at it yourself. Where would you get the money? God is good. And Bingo's good, and Rafferty's good, and Jumbo Sales is good. Yeah, Jumbo Sales, Bingo Rafferty. Which reminds me. Did you see my golf clubs anywhere? Golf clubs? Yeah, yeah you have no time for golf for muck. <laughs> the man that has them has his handicap down to nine. Huh? And there is three ten for the new school. <laughs> do you mean to sit there and tell me that you... I blessed you. What do I care about you? That's a nice way to address a priest. Um, uh, God help the parish you'll get if you'll ever get back. Oh, but, but you're a terrible creature. For the church will master you in the end. And pray, what have I to do with the church? Isn't it not the boy higher up in the church than I am? There's one great consolation. And what's that? When the canon's day comes, you're for the road. You'll go the road of Hitler and Stalin and all the other great tyrants. <laughs> if I do, I'll have something to show for me time. Oh, you don't have to tell me. You must have made a right few bob on the cards, not to mention the butcher, the grocer, and anywhere else you could rob a few bob. I've as much rights as you. And when you go to the bishop, let me know and I go with you. And if you're not satisfied with the bishop, we go to the cardinal. And if you're not satisfied with the cardinal, we go to the pope. Do you know something? You were mad. Absolutely stone mad. Come on now. Aren't you the one that's always talking about going to the bishop? Always talking about it behind my back. Come on now, we tell us there's a new school built. The churches are appeared. And all the debt paid, all since I came. It was our work for the Lorenz and mine. I've just been doing the bedroom. My own is finished. Do you want me to do yours? No, thank you. I give it a hover. No, I'm all right. If you told me yourself to go up and down that stairs would be the death of you. It won't take me five minutes. I told you I can pull my weight. Well, oh, don't fret yourself. I'm not fretting myself. It's that monster there that has me upset. She won't rest happy until she has me under the clay. No, no, Finn. Don't let her get hatched. I just think no. Ah, listen to the Mohammedan with the turban and his cough. <laughs> it's a pity the bishop wouldn't see you now. <laughs> Very in it, mutabilis, sense for feminine. Well spoken, Father. In nomne, domne, gomne, good, crystal, say, go, tapioca, semolina. And if you don't like the music, you can change the 
that bat beast. Terrible sure creature. <laughs> Poor creature knows no better. We mustn't be hurt. God makes us responsible for all these creatures. Ah, I beg you, tell us that to give. I will give you that. You know no better. No, no, hold on. It might be no harm to exercise her all the same. I'll exercise the fairy. <laughs> Maybe she's possessed. The devil is more sick. No such a devil or an evil spirit will interfere with my sermons. Am I your temper too? Sermons? And they're thrown around everywhere for everyone to see them. Did I catch a beggar man reading them last week? I left him here while I went to get him a drop of tea. And I brought back the tea. He was drawing luck. What are you laughing at a mock of his eye? He stares to see and he lived to do a few sermons. He had no right to do that. It was yourself that left it there. Look here, says the beggar man, and he is ditches. This is just marvelous for the son to sermon. This is just the job for the working man, the poor farmer, the man milking cows and feeding pigs. There's four pages here, see, on the mess and the catechumens. I worked hard on that. Uh, and what of my sermons? I heard by the breast sermon of last Sunday, and it was one of the finest of its kind. Mixed marriages. It'd be more in your line to give a sermon on mixed bread. The people would understand that. Mixed marriages are prevalent, and like bread, families should be properly raised. Oh, God, but you're the great man. Or maybe it's the innocent you are. You're going to mix the Catholics of this parish with. Sure, there wasn't a Protestant seen here since the saintly Moody's were pitched with stones out of the marketplace 50 years ago. Everything I say doesn't apply to here. Maybe be no harm if it did. Maybe it's with catechumens we'd mix them, or we might find a few more harm <coughs> like Father Lone here with pillowships of their sconces. Your remarks are both hurtful, especially when you know I've been doing your bedroom out all morning. Oh, I declare to God, but I pity the people who come from miles around and have to listen to the period Sunday after Sunday, blathering about catechumens and Israelites and Egyptians, <laughs> not to mention the images of Philistines and system. Sure, there wasn't a systemite or an Aramite seen in the two dioceses of Chum and Clanfert. There was plenty of parasites, all right. There's no attack. <laughs> God's sake, just leave it for us. No, 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 hold on a minute. Okay, maybe you can show us how. Uh, uh, maybe you can give us a few words on how best to combat the woefully low standard of morals pervading in town and country at this present moment. Uh, we won't be hard on you. You're only a <coughs> nuns. Uh, well, I do my best. Uh, take a seat, Father. Thank you, Father. Well, there was a missionary used to come from Belfast the time I was with Monsignor McMerrigan. And this is what he used to say about morals. We expected you to speak about today's morals, no? Today, yesterday, or the day before, morals were always real. <coughs> and as long as there are more than two human beings on the face of this earth, morals will be blue. And all the canons and curates of the whole world join together won't put one eye over the change. Oh, my, 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 but this is news indeed. We accepted your terrors. Carry on. Now, this missionary from Belfast used to put his two hands out like that. Open wide his eyes and his mouth as well. <coughs> and he could deal a whole second like that without stopping or moving. Then he'd let a desperate roar out of him. You're all damned! Every one of you is damned. For there isn't one among you that didn't have a bad thought today. <laughs> You'll roast in hell, and the flames will howl round your bare, burning body, and the devil will come shrieking around you, and the pain will make you cry. I'm sorry I sinned you a scream. But it's not too late, <coughs> dearly beloved brother. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's one among you who is thinking of going to a dance tonight to meet with some wee innocent person with whom you are on friendly terms. You may be, or you. Maybe at this moment your plans are downfall of some innocent girl. Or maybe you're that most heinous and awful of all Satan's minions that must fall 